NBA 2K has been the best basketball franchise for the last 13 years running. NBA 2K broke the mold when it came to online team play when they introduced My Park to their game. Now one thing I will say is the last few years My Park has definitely suffered from quality issues and other issues as well as gameplay and so on and so forth. So what can they do to fix one of their best modes that they have in the game? It's time to talk about it. Oh my bad, I didn't mean to be rude. What's good? It's your boy FlyGuyGVG back at you again with another video today. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you are new. Turn on those notifications and like this video so we can get it to the 2K devs. Let them know, yo, we gotta fix some stuff. Y'all already know, 2K been slacking for a little while, so this video will hopefully, hopefully tell them, look, this is what we need. We need y'all to put it in the game right now. If you play NBA 2K even a little bit, you can start to see the issues really fast because a lot of the issues that they do have have been legacy issues and they've transferred from game to game over the years. So that's why people say NBA 2K hasn't really fixed anything or was the same game as last year. They see that all the time because they're not really addressing some of the issues that we do have with the game. Now one thing NBA 2K has and they've always had even since Xbox 360 and PS3 is terrible servers like they are terrible so if we're going into a new leaf with the next generation consoles I really feel like that's one thing that they really have to focus on in order to make NBA 2K21 good especially on the park because the park latency is worse than any other mode in the game by far now I don't want to harp on this too much but this is definitely important because it affects the experience of every gamer that's playing NBA 2K. My shot shouldn't be different from the rec to program to the park. It should be the same exact shot, the same release on each and every part of the game. And since we're talking about server stability, I'm sorry, but the neighborhood gotta go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, it was a great concept or whatever, but I really feel like all of the stuff that you have going on in the background really affects the user's gameplay experience. Yeah, cool. I can go into 2K shoes. I can go into swags. I can buy clothes right then and there. That's cool and all, but it really bogs down the servers. It makes you guys like the game just it plays really bad at times. Sometimes you might get some good games in. You might. You might every now and then, but for the most part, NBA 2K is always unstable. And since we would be getting rid of the neighborhood, right? You have to bring back park affiliations. I feel like that's the best thing to do for a park. Honestly, park hasn't been as good or as packed or anything since 2K17. And that's being real. Park in 2K17, it was lit. I'm saying it was lit. No matter if you think NBA 2K17 was a bad game or not, it has not been as bad as what's come out for the last three years. And that's being real. Now, a lot of you know I like to play basketball video games, whether it's NBA Live or NBA 2K. I like to play games because they are, because basketball is my sport. So anytime I can play either one of those games, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to try to have as much fun on them as possible, right? So one thing NBA 2K can adopt from NBA Live, like they haven't already adopted everything else anyway, is matchmaking. Yes, there's matchmaking for the rec, but for Park, yo, if you don't have a squad on, you not playing and there should be a way where you can see if you want to play the team that's on the court now uh next you should be able to do that yes you guys got to come up with a way to actually be able to say i got next on this court but it still puts you in matchmaking opposed to somebody seeing somebody's overall and then running because they scared because they don't think they're good that's i mean that makes it so hard for people that don't have squads to play so you know what i'm saying just make it easier make it more fun for everyone Speaking of ducking, ho, oh, let me tell you, make streaks fun again. I'm just saying, people duck on this game so much because they don't want their overall to go down. So let's not make overall based on how many games you win. 
know what I'm saying? Let's 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 not do that. Let's not do that. Let's stop making it so people get off of their spot so that they can see who they're playing against so they can oh nah I don't want to play against them. Nah, I don't want to play against them. That that's corny to me. That's corny. Play who's in front of you. Play. You know what I'm saying? Stop ducking. Make streaks matter again. So, what you can do to make streaks matter again? One, yo, if somebody's on a streak, they get more rep. They get more rep. Why not? Like somebody on a, a 10 game streak is getting uh let's say five times the rep. Somebody on a 20 game streak is getting 10 times the rep. I think that'll make it so people stop ducking certain people. They'll stop ducking certain teams. They're like, oh man, if I get on this streak, my rep will go up faster. That'll even bring bring more people to twos. I know there are certain people that will only play twos. That'll bring that'll bring twos back to life. Cause right now I feel like twos dead. Oh my God, is dead. There's certain things that you really they really have to do in order to make the game make my park more fun again. Cause right now it's it it honestly there's literally no reason to play park. You might as well play wreck. But the thing is, yo, playing wreck with five randoms or four randoms, whoo. Man, that's a headache. Right now, I actually like the current rep system. I really do. Don't get me wrong. I feel like it creeps up there. It definitely creeps up there. So since it does creep up there, why not give people incentives to actually go on streaks? If you go on a streak in park, yo, why not? Why shouldn't you get more rep for that? Why shouldn't you get more rep for that? If you're playing good basketball, why not get more rep for that? That's just my personal opinion. Like, I believe 2K15, 16, and 17 did that, but I might be tripping. I feel like that'll be the best way to get the park, make the park come alive. Because right now, like I said, the park is super dead. Courts are always open. And, oh, don't say it's just your console. Don't say that because I have it on both consoles, on uh, PlayStation and Xbox. And it be dead, dead. 2K used to be packed at all times. Now I'll be like, no matter what time I get on, be during the day, at night, whenever, yo, it just be, it just be so dry, and I, that it's not fun anymore. Like, and that's what I want to do. I want to bring fun back to my park. Now the biggest thing, biggest thing, biggest thing is gonna be gameplay when it comes to how the game actually plays when you're in my park, because man, it can be frustrating at times. My biggest thing is. Make attributes matter more. Don't get me wrong. Yes, I'm cool with the badge system. I like the badge system. I feel like the badge system should be there to enhance your already established attributes, in my opinion. Right now, it feels like you need, you literally need badges in order to do certain things. You need them. Like, you need a catch and shoot badge to catch and shoot, even though your three is at an 85 or a 90. You still need a badge. Like, don't get me wrong, something, you know, it's not that you really need it, but at the same time, you'll miss a shot that's wide open that looks like it should have been a, a green, but it's just a full bar, and it's just, I'm like, it doesn't make sense. Sometimes 2K's logic just doesn't make sense to me. So, one biggest thing that you really have to do is adjust the badge system a little bit. I said just it a little bit. Yeah, I know you want people to grind. But, yo, we already got to grind our overall. But why we got to grind these badges too, man? I really like the old badge system from 2K16 and 17. I feel like those are going to be the best badge systems out there. I mean, if you want to go back to that, I'm completely okay with it. There, you know, there's a lot that I would say take from 2K16 and 17. Next, I'm going to talk about is the dribble moves. Because right now on NBA 2K20... There's literally one good dribble move, and that's the behind the back. That's why everybody does it. That's literally the only good dribble move. Everything else is so trash. Everything else. Nothing else works. Now, in my opinion, the best dribbling system that you guys had was in NBA 2K17. Yeah, a lot of people are going to say, yo, you have saying a lot of NBA 2K17 out here. That game was actually a hidden gem that we didn't even know at the time because, yeah. But now, I really feel like a lot of that needs to come back. And if you do bring it back, 2K. Don't change it. Stop fixing stuff that don't need to be fixed. That did, The dribbling was fine. There was no reason to fix it. Stop. Like now. Not right now, but right now. I'm just saying. Sorry, I'm upset. To me, these aren't a lot of changes that could drastically actually change NBA 2K. They're just small things that really could make 2K that much better. We need those changes ASAP. 
Hey, but that's all I have for this video, guys. Yo, make sure you follow me on Twitch and subscribe to this channel. Twitch, I do stream video games, so if you want to see more gameplay, that's when you're going to catch your boy. Make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications. Like this video and check out some of my olds. We out.